After downloading and unzipping the application, run the Smart PSS Lite installer. Check the license agreement box and click OK to allow the installer to proceed. When finished, Smart PSS will ask you to choose what type of services you will utilize it for. You can also simply select all, even if you won't use some of those options. Check off the next two license agreements to continue. You'll now have to make a password for Smart PSS. It must be a minimum of eight characters and contain one uppercase letter or special character. After setting a password, fill out the three security questions. Next, the program will initialize and boot up, and we can now add a recorder by clicking the device manager. Next, click Add. Name the device, then change the IP domain field to SN4P2P. Input your recorder's serial number. If you don't have this, it can be found under your recorder's network menu, briefly shown here. After entering your serial, enter the username and password for your recorder, and click Add. This will take us back to the device page, and after a moment, you'll see the device go online. To see it in action, click Home, then Live View. Drop down your recorder, and select a camera by double-clicking it. You have successfully set up Smart PSS Lite for viewing a recorder.